Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, Bean. Good afternoon. Yeah. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yes. Can you see me? Yes. Okay, so welcome to our class. For today, you are going to have a test about listening and speaking. Okay, are you now ready, Bin? Yeah. Okay. So let's start. Okay, so this is part one. And in part one, you will have five marks. So you listen and draws, okay? We have an example here, okay? Just like this one. Jane and the girl who's winning the race, okay? So we connect it this one. So before that, let's listen first. Tito, I see you the What? What did you say, Ben? I see it's so. I see it's so blue. It's so. What did you say? Okay, here. Blur. Ooh. Let's just wait for a while. I will just type. I think it's my internet that is weak this time. Okay, I will just type this one, one numbers one to five in chat box so that while you listen, you can also read. Okay, Ben? Okay. Okay, so let's listen first. One. And look, there is one. Oh, ah, I cannot type while playing the audio. Okay, I will just type it for you so that before you listen, I can send the sentences to you. Can you please um, take a photo, then you send it to me in Zalo, who's winning the race. What? Can you please take a photo of your screen? Then you send it to Zalo. Let me Thank see you. how. Yeah. But um, but my mom is going to have. Uh, uh, my mom is going job. My mom is going job and can photo. Ah, that's okay, Bin. Maybe later because it will. I see it's so blue. Ah, yes. But you can see my screen, but not clear, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I will just type it for you. Because it usually happens when my internet is not stable. Yeah, and my, my, I, my screen is a bit blurred. My students are having a hard time to read it. Who's fallen down? Okay, done. So let's listen now. Part one. Listen and look. There is one example. Is that Katie there, near the tree? Yes, it is. Look, she's jumping very high. Yes, she's very good at jumping. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. 
Who's that girl running in the race? The one who's winning? Yes. I think that's Jane. You're right. It is Jane. Look at Sarah under the tree. She looks tired. Is Sarah the girl who's sleeping then? Yes. She's tired because she's running three races today. Do you know the girl who's won the gold cup? The gold cup? Yes. Oh, yes. I know her. Her name's Helen. Oh, no. Someone in the race has fallen over. Oh, yes. It's Emma. Is she OK? Yes. Look, she's smiling. She's fine. Someone is helping the girl who's fallen over. Who is it? I think it's Betty. Yes, it is. She always helps people if she can. Now listen to part one again. Who's that girl running in the race? The one who's winning? Yes. I think that's Jane. You're right. It is Jane. Look at Sarah under the tree. She looks tired. Is Sarah the girl who's sleeping then? Yes. She's tired because she's running three races today. Do you know the girl who's won the gold cup? The gold cup? Yes. Oh, yes. I know her. Her name's Helen. Oh, no. Someone in the race has fallen over. Oh, yes. It's Emma. Is she OK? Yes. Look, she's smiling. She's fine. Someone is helping the girl who's fallen over. Who is it? I think it's Betty. Yes, it is. She always helps people if she can. Okay, that is are... the end of part one. Okay, so are you done with your answers? Yes. Okay, so in part one, you got four over five. Uh, because number one, Jane and the girl who's winning the race is this one. Jane is here. Okay, who winning the race. Okay, so let's check. Okay, so this time let's proceed to our part two. So you listen and write and kindly look at this one. We have one example. Is it is it still blur? Yes. Okay, I'll type again. Oh, good. They met. Number two. Okay, done. So let's listen. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. When did you meet your husband, Mrs Hill? It was in 1947. So that's 50 years ago. 50 years is a long time. Yes. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. Did you meet in the summer? No, it was in the autumn, in November. Oh, was the weather OK? Yes, it was a beautiful sunny day. Good. What's his first name? It's William. That's W-I-L-L-I-A-M. 
OK. Where did you meet him? Do you remember? Yes, I do. We met at our school. Oh, so you were very young when you met. Yes, we were only 11 years old. But we weren't friends at the beginning. Why not? Why not? Well, we didn't like doing the same things. Then, when we were older, we had the same favourite hobby. And we were more friendly after that. What was your favourite hobby? We liked going fishing in the lake near our village. That's nice. Do you still go fishing together? Yes. We go a lot in the summer. Now listen to part two again. Teacher, I... I... I listen, it's so... No. What? I listen, it's so fast. Ah, it's so fast? Yeah. Okay, so I will just let you listen twice. For every listening part, you will listen twice. Okay? Teacher, but, but you can see your number one me. Yes, I can see your number one answer. Can you uh, erase them? Yes, I can erase. Okay, so let's listen now. Are you now ready to listen? Hello, Bin. Wait a minute. Okay, just tell me once you're ready to listen. Okay. It was in the autumn, in November. Oh, was the weather okay? Yes, it was a beautiful sunny day. Good. What's his first name? It's William. That's W-I-L-L-I-A-M. Okay. Where did you meet him? Do you remember? Yes, I do. We met at our school. Oh, so you were very young when you met. Yes, we were only 11 years old. But we weren't friends at the beginning. Why not? Why not? Well, we didn't like doing the same things. Then, when we were older, we had the same favourite hobby. And we were more friendly after that. What was your favourite hobby? We liked going fishing in the lake near our village. That's nice. Do you still go fishing together? Yes. We go a lot in the summer. Okay, so did you find that the answer? That is the end of part two. Yes. No. Okay, I will let you listen again. Then you can take note your answer, Bin. Okay? Okay. Okay, so this is the last time. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. When did you meet your husband, Mrs Hill? It was in 1947, so that's 50 years ago. 50 years is a long time. Yes. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. Did you meet in the summer? No. It was in the autumn, in November. Oh, was the weather OK? Yes, it was a beautiful sunny day. Good. What's his first name? It's William. That's W-I-L-L-I-A-M. OK. Where did you meet him? Do you remember? Yes, I do. We met at our school. Oh, so you were very young when you met. Yes. We were only 11 years old. But we weren't friends at the beginning. 
Why not? Why not? Well, we didn't like doing the same things. Then, when we were older, we had the same favourite hobby. And we were more friendly after that. What was your favourite hobby? We liked going fishing in the lake near our village. That's nice. Do you still go fishing together? Yes. We go a lot in the summer. Okay, so can you please write your answers? Now listen to part two again. Number one, what is your answer? In what month they met? It's uh, W-I-L-L. No, 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 no. Months they met. What months they met? Um, November. Very good. And what is her husband's name? Her husband's name is William. Very good. Then where did she meet her husband? Um, uh, 11 year. How old when they met? Uh, 11. Okay. So what is their hobby? They fishing. Very good. So you got... Four over five. So let's check. November, William, and they met at their school. Okay, that is number three. So let's proceed to the other part. So here, you are going to listen and write a letter in each box. Then there is one example again. So it is the people he li who live in the flats all get up at different times. And you answer, at what time does each person get up okay so i will just let you listen twice after that one no more listening okay 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 so let's listen part three listen and look there is one example the people who live in the flats all get up at different times at what time does each person get up Oh, I had to get up so early this morning. Me too. But the person who lives in the flat next to ours gets up very late. He's a businessman, but he often works at home. He's got an office there. He gets up at a quarter past nine. Wow, that is late. Can you see the letter D? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. The policewoman who lives in the downstairs flat goes running before she goes to work. She gets up at five to seven every morning. I hear her in her kitchen sometimes. Making coffee? I don't know. There's another person who gets up earlier than me. She's a nurse. So she has to be at the hospital at a quarter to eight. She gets out of bed at ten past seven. She told me. Is she nice? Yes, I like her a lot. Who else do you know in the flats? There's a mechanic who lives on the first floor. He gets up at about twenty past eight, then has a shower every day. I hear him in the bathroom. He catches the bus at ten to nine, like me. Do you know, one of the people there is an astronaut. No! Well, he says he is. We don't know. He gets up the earliest. I hear his clock sometimes at half past six. I couldn't get up that early. On most days, I'm still dreaming then. Me too. Can I listen again? The university live there too. You mean Lucy. She's a student there. What time does she get up? At about eight o'clock or five past, something like that. I'm not sure. She lives at the top of the house. All we hear is her music. Oh. Now listen to part three again. The policewoman who lives in the downstairs flat goes running before she goes to work. She gets up at five to seven every morning. I hear her in her kitchen sometimes. 
making coffee? I don't know. There's another person who gets up earlier than me. She's a nurse, so she has to be at the hospital at a quarter to eight. She gets out of bed at ten past seven. She told me. Is she nice? Yes, I like her a lot. Who else do you know in the flats? There's a mechanic who lives on the first floor. He gets up at about twenty past eight, then has a shower every day. I hear him in the bathroom. He catches the bus at ten to nine, like me. Do you know, one of the people there is an astronaut. No. Well, he says he is. We don't know. He gets up the earliest. I hear his clock sometimes at half past six. I couldn't get up that early. On most days, I'm still dreaming. Then. Me too. Doesn't someone from the university live there too? You mean Lucy? She's a student there. What time does she get up? At about eight o'clock or five past, something like that. I'm not sure. She lives at the top of the house. All we hear is her music. Oh. oh. That is the end of part three. Okay, so you write your answers now. So this time we are going to check your answer. So we have H, very good. Mechanic is A20. University is letter. What is this one? Let me let me erase first your answer so that I can see. Okay, so this is letter F. Yeah. University student and letter E for you. nurse. Mm -hmm. Okay, astronaut is B. Very good. And for police, woman is letter G. Okay, so here you got... Um, how many is your correct answer? One and two. One, two. Okay, so you got two over five. Okay, so let's proceed to our next part. Okay, so in part four... You listen again and you tickle the box. There is one example also in part four. Okay, so again, I will let you listen twice only. Okay. Okay. Okay, so let's listen now. Part four. Listen and look. There is one example. How many homes has Richard's Aunt Betty got? I've got three aunts, but Aunt Betty is my favourite. Oh, is she, Richard? Why? Well, she's nice, and I like going to stay with her. Her homes are very interesting. <laughs> homes? How many has she got? One for the winter, and a second one for the summer. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. Where does Aunt Betty live in the summer? Does she live near your farm? In the winter, yes. But in the summer, she travels a lot. Where does she go? She goes up the river in her summer home. It's a boat. Oh, she lives on a boat. Yes, she likes visiting old castles and places near the river. Two. Where is Aunt Betty's winter home? Does she live on the river in the winter? No, she's got a little house in our village for the winter. It's opposite the hotel. Oh, yes. Is it that little pink house? Yes, that's right. That's her house. I finished. Okay, very good. Would you like to listen again or not? No. Okay, so let's check your answers. Very good. Number one and number two is letter B, this pink house beside the hotel. Okay, so you got four over five. 
Okay, so this time, uh, no, 2, 1 over 2. Okay, so we are going to continue num part 4, numbers 3 to 5. And you will listen twice. If you don't like to listen again, then you can tell me so that we can check your answer. Okay, so let's listen okay. this one. 3. Where does Aunt Betty work in the winter? Does your Aunt Betty work? Yes, she works hard in the winter when everyone comes here to ski. Does she work in the hotel? Not now. She worked in the restaurant there about five years ago. But now she works at the theatre, in the shop there. She sells books and postcards. 4. How often does Richard see Aunt Betty in the summer? Do you often see your Aunt Betty? In the winter we see her once a week. She comes up to our farm on Wednesdays for her milk. And in the summer? Yeah. Only about Aunt once Betty. a month. Sometimes we stay with her for a weekend on the boat. 5. What do Richard and his sister do when they visit Aunt Betty? My sister and I love staying with Aunt Betty. It's very different from home. How is it different? Well, she hasn't got a TV, so we can't watch anything. What do you do then? Most of the time she just talks to us, about her travels usually. Sometimes she goes outside and paints a picture. Then she comes in and starts telling us stories again. <laughs> are they good stories? Yes, and sometimes the stories are very long, so we don't go to sleep until after midnight. Would you like to listen again? Yes. Okay. Three. Where does Aunt Betty work in the winter? Does your Aunt Betty work? Yes, she works hard in the winter when everyone comes here to ski. Does she work in the hotel? Not now. She worked in the restaurant there about five years ago. But now she works at the theatre, in the shop there. She sells books and postcards. 4. How often does Richard see Aunt Betty in the summer? Do you often see your Aunt Betty? In the winter we see her once a week. She comes up to our farm on Wednesdays for her milk. And in the summer? Only about once a month. Sometimes we stay with her for a weekend on the boat. 5. What do Richard and his sister do when they visit Aunt Betty? My sister and I love staying with Aunt Betty. It's very different from home. How is it different? Well, she hasn't got a TV, so we can't watch anything. What do you do then? Most of the time she just talks to us about her travels usually. Sometimes she goes outside and paints a picture. Then she comes in and starts telling us stories again. <laughs> are they good stories? Yes, and sometimes the stories are very long, so we don't go to sleep until after midnight. Okay, so you finalize your answers now? Yes. Okay, so let's check if all your answers are correct. Number one, number three, we have C. She worked in the theater during winter. Okay, number four is letter C. Very good. Number five is letter C again. So you got two over five in part four. It does. Everyone is C, 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 C. Yes. Okay, so let's proceed to the other part. Okay, so in part five, you are going to listen and color. So kindly look at this one. We have one example i will let you listen again twice and if you don't like to listen again a second time then you can tell me so that we can check your answer okay let's listen part five listen and look at the picture there is one example in the sky there are some clouds can you see them yes find the biggest cloud 
and colour it black. OK. Can you see the black cloud? This is an example. Now you listen and colour and draw. One. Now you're going to draw another cloud. Where shall I draw it? Between the plane and the helicopter. One cloud? Yes. Two. How many birds can you see? Five. Yes. Now colour two of the birds orange and three of them grey. Two orange, three grey. That's right. Either I don't have grey or orange. Okay. I don't. Just. I don't have grey. What colour do you have? What colour do you have? I have black, red, yellow, green, and blue. Okay, you color the two birds red and the three birds yellow. Okay. Okay, very good. Let's continue to listen. Three. If you look at the plane, you can see it has three windows. Yes. Now draw another one. A fourth window on the plane. Yes. And colour it green. Green. OK. Four. Now find the three women in the picture. Right. I can see them. Can you see the woman who's nearest the plane? Nearest the plane. OK. Colour her clothes blue. All her clothes blue? That's right. Five. In the picture, there are some words. I want you to colour one word. Which one? Just colour the word flyers. OK, but what colour is it? Red. Flyers is red? Yes. OK, so would you like to check directly your answer or listen again? Um, check. <laughs> Okay, so here we have number one, you are correct, very good. Okay, number one, very good. Number two, very good. Okay, number three, draw a green window on the plane. Okay, and number four is blue, very good. Number five is red. For this one, you got Five over five. That's a great job, Bin. Okay, so let's proceed with our um wait for a while. Speaking. Oh, so this is the last part of our test for today. Wait, let me check again. Ah yeah, this is the last part. Okay, wait for me, Bin. I'll check to I'll try to check what's in your DLP. Okay, can I go into the toilet? Ah, uh, yes, you can go.
Yeah, I'm finished going to the toilet. Okay, so this time let's proceed to our test three, which is our speaking. Okay, so here I'm going to ask you a question and you answer, teacher. Teacher, okay, when is your birthday? What? It's um, junior now. June 9. June 9? June 9, yes. June 9. Ah, yes. Okay, very good. So, have you ever seen a real rocket? Yes. Okay. Do you like to learn about universe? Yes. Okay. So, here, I want you to find the difference between the two pictures. Okay, when we say difference, those are the things that they differ, means they are not alike to each other. Okay, so what are their differences? In, in the picture one, I see the car is blue, but in picture two, I see the car is yellow. Very good. What else? In picture, in picture one, I see the baby. I see the baby who wearing the yellow, the yellow, the yellow is to hide, hide the, and then the old, the old man is. In picture one, I see the old man is short, but in picture two, I see the old man is tall. Okay, very good. One, I see everyone is has, and the two girls has wearing um red t shirt but in picture two, I see two girls is has the green t shirt Very good. In picture one, I see the baby who who um, has a plane, but in picture two, I see the baby who has a flag. In picture one, I see the girl, the woman, it has a long hair, but in picture two, I see the girl has a curly hair. In picture one, I see the rabbit is uh, behind, behind the, uh, behind the, Behind the, behind the stone, but in picture two, I see the rabbit is in, is on the stone. In picture one, I see, in picture one, I see the, the Iron Man who wearing a, um, a sprite blue and, and, uh, and sprite, uh, a sprite. White, but in picture two, I see the boy, uh, they, they, the man who is wearing the white t shirt. A white, a white. In picture, in picture one, I see, I see. Me to one, I see a cameraman. It's um, 
Um, is is a uh, is a uh, turn turn left. In yes. between one, I see the cameraman is turn 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 right. But in between two, I see the cameraman is turn left. Very good. What mm -hmm. else? Oh, There's still one. one. one yeah. Oh, one more. Mid one, I see three as the north. But in between two, I see uh, four as the north. Okay, very good. So let's check. Okay. So here, Ben, you can say in picture one, I see a, a cameraman taking picture on the, on the rocket. And in picture two, the cameraman is taking picture on the rabbit or on the car. But you are still correct, left and right. Okay, so that's a perfect score for you. Okay, let's proceed. So here we have William and Emma who are friends. They both go to swimming lessons. I don't know anything about William's swimming lesson, but you do. So I'm going to ask you some questions. Okay, so here... William swimming lesson. Okay, so what is uh, William's? What is the name of? <laughs> no, what is the name of the teacher? teacher yeah, of the teacher in it's swimming. Mickey. Yes, and what day do William learn swimming? Um, it's Saturday. Very good. And what time do they start their swimming lesson? Half past nine. Half past nine. Yes. And how their swimming lesson? Is it interesting or boring? Boring. Yes. Is the water cold or not? Um. Yes. Okay. So that's a perfect job for you. Okay. So here... Okay, that's already answered. So how about Emma's swimming lesson? What's Emma's teacher's name? It's Nick. Yes, and what day does she have lessons? Tuesday. Very good. What time do the lessons start? It's 4 o'clock. Yes. Are the lessons interesting or boring? Interesting. Yes. Uh, is the water cold? No. Okay, very good. Good job. So here, this picture tell a story. It is called Peter is in a film. Just look at the picture and just look at the picture first. Peter is walking home. He can see a woman with some heavy bags. There are some people making a film of the woman, but Peter doesn't see them. Now, you tell the story, okay? So you make a story out of this picture here. Can you do that? Okay. When I was a student, who see, see one woman, and the woman is, um, and one woman is, 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 Yes, the wo the teacher, the woman, the woman is yes. The the woman is dropped. The woman yes. is dropped the food, and the student who is going to uh, going to uh, going to pick pick the food to the woman, then. The woman to and and the student don't don't know the cam cameraman who uh, who 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 uh, who who uh, come who uh, who uh, the cameraman who who turn turn it and the then then the student is very um and the is uh, a student is very if a student is very is 
It's very. It's a surprise. It's very surprise. Yes. And the woman just say, say the student who, um, pick who pick who pick it for the woman who going, uh, for your uh, you can win. Okay, continue. And and the woman say with the student who going in my in in the house. Okay. Are you done, Ben? Yes. Okay, very good. Okay. Okay, very good because you were able to tell me the story out of this picture. Okay, so that's a good job for you. So here I'm going to ask you five questions. Has the woman's bag broken? Yes or no? Has the woman's bag yes. broke? Yes. <laughs> then what is Peter doing? Um, Peter is big, big. Pick to the food is. Yes, pick. Peter is picking the food. Who can Peter see now? Um, is the woman laughing? Yes. Is Peter in the film? Yes. What's he doing? He's surprised. Yes. Okay, very good. So here we have the suggested answer can you please read this one the woman back has broken everything that sound in the wrong Peter helping the woman is loving Peter can see film people now they are laughing to Peter is in the film he car he carrying the woman shopping okay very good so here Okay, so that was the last part of our speaking test. So that's a great job for you because in, in our speaking test, uh, you got a perfect score for all my questions because you were able to tell me the answers directly and you tried answering me. And for listening test, you got um, 25 minus 5. So you got uh 20 no 25 minus 5 minus 2 so you got 18 over 25 okay that is still a good score okay so before we end do you have any question to teacher i think it's no okay so thank you so much for attending our class today bin and thank you for doing your job i for doing your uh, your part in taking less listening and uh, listening and reading. speaking reading. Text. Speaking. Okay, so see you next time, Bien. Bye-bye. Bye, teacher. Yes, goodbye.